Over my fear of needles, and then <laughs> <laughs> have as many. How long do I have to I get over a phobia? <laughs> you just close your eyes, and yes. Uh, about six hours. Okay, <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> Uh, so as the system passed through and now it's going to be cold, what's going on outside? Yeah, so most of the storms have gone by, though there is one popping up along 281 again, just to the south of Alice. But the bulk of storms that we saw come through Corpus Christi has passed for now, though we are left with a little bit of some drizzly rain here along SPID. Again, this one storm starting to get going down to the south of Alice, starting to get a little bit of heavier rain, even some lightning strikes going there. So we'll continue to track those as they come across here. That tan color you saw behind the radar, that's a wind advisory, so it's going to be pretty windy today going through uh, this morning and into this afternoon. Also very festive green and gold on the radar this morning. Uh, the winds for this morning going to be a little breezier in the morning compared to the afternoon, but still on the windier side of things for today. Temperature is going to continue to drop into the 40s, I think, by the time we hit 8 or 9 this morning and then go back up. But but only into the upper 50s by the time we get to this afternoon, and that's going to be helped by a little sunshine heading into this afternoon. But enjoy it because that's going to be some of the last sunshine we see for a couple of days. Here's a breakdown of our rain chances for today. We're already in the bulk of those chances here at six o'clock, and those chances going to continue as we head into the rest of this morning. But going down once we hit about eight or nine o'clock, when I think our lowest temperature is going to be for the day so far. Here's a look at the rest of our forecast for today. Those rain showers continuing to come across the coastal bend with those northerly winds bringing our temperatures down. But by mid morning, that's when I think our temperatures will start to go back up and we're going to see the clouds and rain try to skedaddle on out of here by about lunchtime, though I still still do have those rain chances in the forecast for about lunchtime temperatures in the 50s around noon and then still in the 50s by this afternoon with a high of 58 degrees. So Big weather change from where we were yesterday in the upper 80s. Tonight, then we're going to go back down into the 40s in the middle 40s for us here, and I think we're going to see the clouds and rain continue not only tomorrow afternoon that keeps us in the 50s, but also even into Sunday. I think we're going to still keep those cool temperatures, the northerly winds, clouds and rain chances. So forecast rain chances for each day. I think today those rain chances mainly in the morning with that front and then over the next couple of days, we're going to see a series of disturbances move across the coastal bend that will give us daily rain chances about 50% or so. And by Tuesday, those rain chances finally go down. And as a result, we're going to see a little bit of a warming trend come back. So for now, our high temperatures are where our normal lows should be. But then we're finally going to see a little sunshine and warm back up into next week. Right now, temperatures running about 20 to 25 degrees cooler than we were at this time yesterday. So right around 50 to the upper 40 is where we're seeing across the coastal bend. It's still nice and breezy, bringing those cooler temperatures into the coastal bend and those winds again, like I said, going to continue through this afternoon. We've got that wind advisory going until nine o'clock, except right along the coast. It goes until 1 p.m. That's going to continue to bring these cooler temperatures here to the coastal bend and we bottom out in the 40s and only get back up into the 50s tomorrow. That'll be the trend for the next three to four days. And finally, on Tuesday for the second day of spring, Maybe it'll actually feel like spring here in Corpus Christi. One day.